Get ready for another Rogue One. I'm the Flannel Fox, Tim Swernick, and I reviewed Crimson Keep on the Nintendo Switch. Crimson Keep is a first-person dungeon crawler roguelike, which means you each life you start over from scratch. Progressing through the game, leveling up, collecting better gear, and learning new abilities. Then when you die, you start over with nothing, which will happen a lot because Crimson Keep is tough as nails. Beginning each run with a choice of three different classes, one an axe-wielding berserker, one a ranged attacking witch, and the other a drifter, a weaponless low-health character for an even harder experience. After trying all three, I've had the best experience with the berserker, which I used as a starting class for the bulk of my playtime. After a brief tutorial, which you have to walk through every time you start the game, a repetitive feature that I wish you could skip after completion once, you plummet through a hole in the ground to begin your run. The first person combat is absolutely the highlight of Crimson Keep. At first, what feels janky grows on you until you're carefully dodging ranged and counterattacks, trying to find that perfect hit on your enemy. Playing mostly melee, the ranged weapons, especially high damage ones, are great to save for a difficult loot room that's crawling with enemies. Shields don't really work all that well as you still take a ton of damage when blocking with them, and when playing melee, you really have to use the reticle to aim. Even if my axe went through a character, you may not do damage if the reticle isn't directly on your enemy, which is frustrating, but you get used to it. While exploring the cavernous dungeons, I've been stuck in place a number of times, which in those instances you can close down the app and restart it, but I've lost significant progress upon returning, like a level's worth of experience. Unlike when you get stuck in the infinite loading screens between levels, when restarting the app will not work, and you have to start over from the beginning. Even though you're playing an excellent game so far, coming out of that last level with a ton of health, great loot, it is hard and even harder to deal with getting robbed of your great performance because of a bug in the game. Which doesn't happen every game, obviously, but it happens enough for it to be a big deal when giving a recommendation. Slaying skeletons and trolls is dangerous, but a must if you want to walk away with some amazing loot. Which doesn't always drop, some runs you'll be swimming in gear, while others you'll be praying for a potion with barely any drops. You can find bruised apples and moldy bread for health, but when eating anything it shows the same apple animation. As you level up throughout the game, you choose different abilities each level, giving you special attacks and stat boosts, with unlockable new abilities once you achieve certain in-game goals like killing six different bosses with the Witch, which is Crimson Keep's only overarching sense of progression besides your own skill growth as the player. The Sunken Fortress became the Crimson Keep. I'm truly torn because I like this game. I really like this game. The premise is fantastic and the game loop is incredibly addicting. However, the bugs are such a big deal with this type of title because of the roguelike nature that when you lose a great run to a bug, it feels awful. If it was an RPG like Skyrim where you quick saved and only lost a little bit of progress if a bug's out, it would be a much different story. I'll certainly look forward to future patches or a sequel, but as of this at launch, I'm giving Crimson Keep on the Nintendo Switch a 5 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video game review, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Flannel Fox. Follow me on Metacritic and Twitter at The Flannel Fox and on Instagram, The Flannel Fox Gamer. Be sure to follow and subscribe because the more followers and subscribers I get, the more codes I get, which means I make more videos. I'd like to thank Merge Games for providing me with this review copy. Thanks for watching my videos, and as always, see you next time, Switchers.